Hey there, and welcome to painting the Nomad Spectre. So first up, I'm just going to block in all of the dark greys, take them up to very light greys, and then ink them back. So I'll just show you each step of the process as ever, but I'll keep it down to just quick glimpses. And then I'll get into blocking in the rest of the base colours. Here we have then charcoal grey, but onwards and highlight woods. So first up, I'm just going to do a lighter grey. In fact, I'm just going to do a lighter grey and... I'll do the next tier of highlighting as well, and I'll get back to you just before I ink it up. Here we have it then. I've done the highlights and the greys all the way up to white. Uh, you notice that I've only put white highlights on the sniper rifle, uh, his com log on his right wrist here, also on his pistol here. Other than that, I've just used um, oh, also on his knife and the mine on his belt and on his mask. Now this is because these are the areas I want to stand out so that when I start washing stuff in um, these are differentiated from each other so that straight afterwards if I want to apply black ink as well over the top on specifically the rifle and the pistol the highlight should stay sort of clean and true for all the better phrase also just so you know I've used game opaque heavy grey from the Vallejo range which is kind of a a green grey so if the warm grey is pink and the blue grey is blue or cold grey is blue although cold grey is also a colour in game colour which is slightly browny so it's not really cold but that's by the by and all very confusing and then I mixed the um, heavy grey with a bit of um, the cold grey and a bit of white to bring it up and bring it up and um, eventually went up to the white highlight. So next up then I shall apply the first ink and the first ink is actually going to be a uh, green ink because I'm going to bring this in line with um, I was looking at the leathers on the other guys I've done so I want them to have that sort of green grey leathers quality on the actual most part of the outfit and I'll probably dab a touch of black ink in with um, a green ink just to knock it a bit sort of um, towards neutral colour range. So I'll get that done and I'll catch you in a second. Here we have it then. First layer of ink is on and also I've redone all of the white highlights including blocking in the mask so that I'm going to take that up to white because I realised that it's got a bit of a skull motif going on which I hadn't really noticed from looking at the image until I second looked again and it's because of the sort of luminescence done I really wanted to bring that out but as you can see it's all sort of the pre-highlighted work is done and the green comes out pretty nice so it would just be a case of uh, starting to apply the rest of the base colours adding in the purples and uh, preparing the lime greens I'm not so worried about that, but next up, blocking in the black ink. We have it then, all the blacks inked in. Gonna have to do a final round of highlighting, I perhaps used slightly too thick of an ink, but it's always uh, difficult to balance between the um, the thinness of the black ink for this kind of purpose. But I have lost a lot of the detail on the weapons, which the highlights provided. you know this is how it goes either way though next up is going to be blocking in all the other colors uh, so I'm just going to introduce the purples for the plates which I want to go to purple and I will also introduce uh, lime green to the plates that I want to go lime green or bright green and then that will be all of my base coating all done and dusted, so I'll get that done. I'll be back in a minute. There you have it then, all of the base coating complete. These are all ready to go for final stages of painting, finishing up, highlighting, any final tonal stuff. Um, could do a little bit more on the gun and the uh, other weapons that have got the black ink wash. But other than that, it's coming together just fine. So I hope it's been some use interest to you. 
you're painting everything, getting it all ready to go, just how you want it to be. Thank you for watching, have a good and take care. Bye bye.